I believe the set count is definitely. In favor I want to say M. three one Dark M. Yeah, I know Dan got one. Yeah, but I know Dark M has. I mean, multiple. might even be more if we count grand sets. Yeah, probably. But so clearly they've. But these sets have been close. Don't oh, get me yeah. wrong. The grand sets that we're referring to, those were five games. So, um, we're gonna. Yeah. So this is gonna be close. Uh, it was a best of three where Dan M got the win. So here we are, and they love to go to Battlefield. Yep. The main, the main thing about how good Dan does in this game is how well does he adjust to getting under um, Dark M's... Like, when he's falling, he likes to do one aerial, then second aerial upon falling. So how well can Dan get underneath it and behind and punish? And then Dan also has to get up in uh, Lucina's face like that because he doesn't have, like, you know, big disjoints. I mean, he has, like, you know... Good range of oh. attacks, but he gets beat by the sword. That was a pretty sick falling up air, if I were to say. Oh, trading. I think that was with a nair from Lucina. And a back air from Dan. So Dan with the stage position, but Dark is immediately able to find it back. Oh, the oh no. Okay, yeah, okay. That, that was smart. It wasn't going to get much. I was actually worried for a potential back air. I think he was air. so high, though, that the up air was the only thing he could have gotten off. That was true. All right, Dan Magic to dodge the first um, offstage battle of the game. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God, the Raptor boost Get out of out there. By the up until. Get out. Oh, I love that. I love that. All right, so he's got him offstage again. This is a good angle for Dark M. Tries to find the oh, nice. We tech those, but oh, we great follow up, but he goes too hard for it, so they both die. Yeah. Excellent retaliation. From that was Dark really M, good, like for him to be ready with that forward air. Yeah, it was almost one of those it didn't even matter scenarios. Yeah, that that was just Dark M, one of the best players on what you like, just pr layering his edge guard so much. Yep. Uh, and this is a matchup where edge guarding is huge. Either Dark M, you know, gets it a lot, or Danim can find like a little bit of it. It, it. Like the the battles are definitely won off stage with between these two. Okay, imagine the spot dodge through the dash grab. Okay, forward air. I don't, I don't entirely know what Dan's like done hugely, but he already got him at 64, but Dark M doesn't even matter, taking him to 77. He's got him off stage again, another long range. High, Goes high I, but not safe. It was a good decision, though. Does, don't yep. go low to put him in that edge guard scenario. He did take damage, but he was able to stay above the stage. Oh, and once again, waiting for the roll. Oh, the no. Tipman! Did he lose his jump? I think he, he might have um, dropped down and tried to like jump forward air or something. Yeah. If I were to guess. But yeah, he actually managed to get hit by the retaliating. Like I said, with, with these, um, it's all about the off stage. Who's gonna get the hit? Who's gonna, you now who's gonna pull through with it? Yeah, and this time around, we actually saw Dan sneaking a counter or a sneaky hit. I've never seen him try that before. He was able to get a few of those at the grand set back at the Manoa Monthly. So. Yeah, maybe he learned some from those sets back that they fought, those five game sets. But it, it's got him up one in the set here. Very, very big oh, what the? advantage. Especially in a best of three. Yeah, because even if he loses this, he gets stage counter pick. Okay. Dash yeah, and Dan him. actually is running right in there. And Dan is playing a super safe game, looking like Sonic in here. Yeah, but he's really picking and choosing his fights, but... Yeah, just carefully dissecting when he, I can approach, when I can get in. But he's at the ledge. Yep, still in the air. Has yet to find ground. He's been really avoiding living to his Falcon namesake. He's, he's been avoiding uh, the edge guards for the most part, but... I, it's a long set. Unless he can close it out here. Yep, can't hang on to that ledge forever. Yeah, and that, that no would have been really hard to tech. Yeah, that it was, was techable, no tech but from D Dan. Yeah, and he will lose that stock. So this time, yeah, this time Dark M completes the edge guard without dying. <laughs> yep, and damage. Oh wow, actually another aggressive landing option. Tries to find a lazy drift. Actually, almost had it, but kind of. Oh, and what was that option? <laughs> looking to combo break a juggle, if I had to guess. He knows Dark M loves to go, you know, for jungle uh -oh. hits. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was seeing a little bit of suspect DI upon launch. I was wondering if Dark M was going to get KO'd by that or not. Two, one. Okay. You're playing me. Ooh, Tomahawks. Not something we 
see all the time with Lucina. And calling out that he stays in shield. Dan on the retaliating side of Dark M's pressure. But Dan, certainly a couple of good hits from, ta from taking this right back. He hasn't found it yet, though. Really been stuck on ledge, primarily. Ooh, manages a sneak pass with roll into jab. So Dan, I'm actually not even going to go for an edge guard there. He just... With punish, with punish. And it actually pays off. What am I, what am I saying? Yep. He got, he got him up to 90 just like that from that one. Uh, just holding stage. Oh, oh that, that was a good trade for... Yeah, if Darkham got jabbed off stage, that could have been really bad. Ooh, to too long. This is the backer that time. Ooh, oh, actually Raptor. avoids oh. the Raptor boost. I, I couldn't tell if he got a missed input with that forward air or if he was just going for like a back air. Uh, hard to say, but wow, that roll on does not get blown up by Dan. This is really tight. The back air. Yeah, he... down to the wire. Okay, again, no. I, I, now I agree with Dan holding the stage. Yeah, and here's the card part is now this is actually scary for Dark M because he doesn't want to be anywhere near Falcon's hard blows. Oh! Oh my god, Open untackable, station. but I was expecting that after the air dodge he was just gonna punish him, but Dark I'm actually waiting extended periods of time. And actually getting an untackable stage spike with the dolphin slash. Very down to the wire, but manages to squeeze that one out. But certainly not in the fashion that he's probably used to dealing with. Uh, just find, find him and get an open station. He's back there. Okay, so we're tied at one. We're going to go to game three. Not really a surprise. These two, again, it's a very volatile player-player matchup between these two. Hmm. Okay, and I saw Omega Wiley Castle. For the those classic. who don't know, yeah, Dan M has been loving this counter pick lately. Ooh, and we got the best song. Mega Man 2 Medley? With the Wily's Castle mixed in. Oh wow, they... Uh oh, and Dan already finding the good hits in this game. Got Dark M at 41%, but Dark M... Ooh, waits on air dodge, which I like, but... Dan not giving it to him and actually slapping him for waiting so long. It's a grab. Up throw? Or sorry, up, up air? Up air? Yep, and another re aggressive option from Dan. At this point in time, it almost feels like it's not entirely waiting between these two. It's more like whiff punishing options. Oh, interesting choice on how to deal with the uh, whiff jab. Falcon kick finding its rare um, appearance. Okay, the rising there gonna throw Dan off the ledge once again. Oh, but gets and caught with the quick Raptor boost. Oh, Just and run behind and do it. I hear Dark M muttering words, but of Think course he, unable to hear it. From yeah, because he kind of looks like he perfect pivoted into nothing. So yeah, he kind of just stood there and took it. Yeah. I mean, granted, I don't, I don't know if he was entirely expecting it, but knowing him, he usually has something ready to defend himself. Yeah, it's not gonna go low for that back here. Tries to play it safe. Has stage control. No down tilt on the. In Grab. Oh! Oh, it doesn't matter! <laughs> yeah, I think that Dan actually stopped Jab 2 to possibly get a mix up and Dark yeah, M having none of it. Yeah, he, Take this fair. he was high enough where he could drop down the forward air, so. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, what the? That, that, I don't know if that was on purpose. I would hope not. <laughs> but again, I also can't imagine Falcon trying to forward to oh so maybe God, dash attack. Oh my was so good. So up air into the falling up air. What do you go from like 10 to 40? Oh, oh no, that's wow, it. he finds the knee conversion and that's gonna do it. So Dan M will take it. Throw just happens so quick sometimes. Yeah, and they're both sharing their words of defeat. Or sorry, the post game remarks. <laughs> 